Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and I upload every Tuesday and Friday. So if you want to hear more about me and you like what I say, then just join the fam. Okay, so for today's video, I'm fairly excited because, well actually, I want to express some frustrations. I know I just weren't excited to frustrate it, but um, ColourPop, I can't keep up. I can't, I can't keep up. Like, they're super cheap, like, in price, they're super affordable. Jesus, God damn it! They freaking come out with something new every single day, and I just want to test everything, and I just want to try everything, and it's just too freaking hard. Jesus Christ, who can keep up with this? I want to know. You have to be mad fucking rich just to keep up with ColourPop. With all their stupid stuff that comes out, and it's so freaking beautiful, and I hate it. Okay? Hate it. With that frustration out of mind, um, I'm gonna give a review on the new cream blush and highlighter lines that they came out with. I picked out the the trio called Call Me by Poppy, which is this really uh, nice orangey and rosy tones, and I'm gonna try them. <laughs> but you know, this really nice rosy and warm tones to try out. I thought they were perfect for the summer because I like that it brings like a warm tone and then a cool tone one if you may say so and I think they're pretty cool to get your hands on them. Anyways, let's get this bad boy out of the package and let's see what it's all about. Okay, so I just wanted to start out um, kind of talking about them individually. Okay, so Bullseye is the, the highlighter. It brings two blushes and one highlight and so it's a very gold and intense highlight. Um, as you can see, it comes with a lot of product. Let me see, it brings 0.33 ounces. I feel like this is gonna last me a lifetime. And God, I, I think this is gonna blend nicely in my skin. I mean, when I'm trying to blend it out here in my hand, it looks really nicely. The only thing I don't know if I would like that much is the glitter, I don't know if you can tell all the glitter that it brings. Maybe I, I didn't see it that well in the, in the viewfinder. Next, I want to talk about Aloha. Aloha seems like a very nice, kind of rosy toned um, blush. It's more on the cooler tone side, I want to say, and it's more toned down while, while under pressure it's very bright pink. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Aloha for this look for the sake of putting my makeup on. Also, they remind me of the blush stick from Nude Sticks, only that when I try to blend this out, at least in my in my arm, it looks kind of like it goes away with my finger. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Like it picks off when I try to put it on. So for that, I'm gonna use a brush to put it on instead of like putting it on my face. I feel like it's gonna pick up some of that product that I already have on. And now when we talk about under pressure, this is a very intense, um, actually kind of intimidating blush because it's very bright, very pink. But I think that once blended out, it would look really nicely, especially for summer, since you want to look more bright and whatnot. I mean, I think that's what you or anyone would go for summer. I think this is a really nice trio. I wish they would be individual. Actually, I think that by this time they're already, you can buy them individually. I just bought them when they were when they had just launched and I just had to get them. I just had to try them. Actually, I think I'm gonna use, now that I'm blending it out and I'm looking at it, I think I'm gonna go with Under Pressure just because I'm doing this super 80s look that I'm trying out and yeah, I wanna try this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fluffy Real Techniques blush brush. I mean, it's not a blush brush, it's a stippling brush. But I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna pretty much dabble it all over and I'm gonna, I don't know if I should put it in my hand first. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I'm a little intimidated by this color. I'm gonna, Jesus, I'm gonna put that all over my skin first. Okay, and now I'm gonna try it in. Okay, so. That actually applied and blended really nicely. 
Um, it feels a little tacky, so I would definitely either set it or put some setting spray. I usually go for the setting spray because I don't like um, setting my face with powders usually. But this looks really nice and it blended out really nice. It packed in really nicely. Obviously, I applied more than I would usually wear blush um, because I'm doing this 80s look. So I think it actually looks really nicely. I'm even going to go in with the shade Aloha. Oh, not the uh, And I'm going to go in lightly like on this side more on the cheek uh, not on the cheek but more on the side that would be like contour just to see how that would look like um definitely i found it was a good idea to staple it here because it's a very intense color i don't know about this one i don't think this is a very intense color but i'm just gonna do it for the sake of not fucking the look and let's see how that looks Okay, I don't feel like it did much, maybe intensified it a little bit here, but it's just that um, the color under pressure, it's so bright and pink, but I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this is looking. I It feels very, um, it feels tacky, definitely, but it also feels very dewy. Like, I just, like, can you see that? I just look so fresh, and that's my favorite kind of look. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna try the highlighter now and see uh, see what it's all about okay so kind of intimidated so i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna apply this um here uh, actually don't do that. Uh, i'm gonna pick up some of these on my highlighting brush and clean that a little bit okay so i'm gonna take um take it from here it looks like a very dry formula from what it felt on my arm it felt very dry it looks very glittery and kind of on the fence here so i'm gonna you know, take a little. Let me see how that looks on the... Oh yeah, okay. Well, let's see how that looks. Um, I'm gonna put some... Okay, I can't I can't see anything. So I'm just gonna take it up from here. And not apply it in my hand. Okay. That's intense. The blush. I don't know. That's definitely a that's definitely a highlight. I'm just gonna tap it with my finger since it's more of a cream formula. I feel like that was a little too harsh. Okay, so I'm just gonna forget the brush. I'm just gonna take in a little with my with my finger. I'm gonna tap in on the other side. Let's see what that looks like. Holy shit! Okay, so sorry for the cursing. It's just that it caught me off guard. Um, yeah, that looks. Intense. Can can you see that? I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Let me see how that looks like. I don't like that it has glitters. Um, let me bring you close. Okay, so you know the blush looks nice. It looks even nicer in real life actually than the viewfinder. So the highlight, I can see it. I don't think you guys can see the glitter. In it, but it looks nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it looks nice. I don't, I don't even know why I'm not convinced. Like it's highlighting. It's just like, like, like. Okay, I can see it a little. I, I don't know if you can even see that. The highlighter does not convince me. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I've tried. Oh my god, what a mess in my hands. Okay, so I've tried um, this. Honestly, the highlighter doesn't look bad. It doesn't. I think on the viewfinder looks nice. I just feel like. I don't know, like it didn't blend that nicely. Like, like it looks kind of muddy in real life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Just looks, I don't like the way it looks. I don't think it blends in nicely. Um, maybe, I don't even know, it's my skin. It looks, it looks muddy. I feel like it looks, not muddy, but it feels like, like it didn't blend nicely. I, I don't think you can see it on the viewfinder, but it didn't blend nicely. Um, the blushes look nice, but that highlighter didn't really hit the standard there. Looks good on the viewfinder at least, but definitely I don't. I hope that by now you can find you can get these individually. Yeah, I'd suggest get the blushes, get this highlight at least this one. I don't know the formula of the rest. Um, according to Kathleen Lights, I mean she tried a couple of of uh, the truths I think or all of them. I don't remember from that video, but I know. 
that she wasn't happy with the highlighters and that it depended on which highlighter um, came in the trio that was nice. So I would definitely suggest to wait until you can get them individually and watch another review with more highlighters. <laughs> Why? And yeah, figure out which highlighter you would like to buy. I think the blushes are hit. From the reviews that I've seen from her and other people, the blushes are nice in all of the in all of the little shields that come in. So yeah, you guys, that's it for today. I think the blushes are good. Let's get the highlight if you can. And yeah, that's it for today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to try any other products, just comment them down below. Let me know your thoughts on these products and this line. I would love to know your thoughts. I could be wrong on whatever I say. Not whatever I say, it's just that remember that it's a matter of perspective and it's just very individual opinions here. Although some things can be objective like this. But yeah, it's very individual. Don't feel offended if you like this um, products. I think that the, the highlight is just not for me. But yeah, so if you haven't joined the fam, join it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.